with these 10 comments, you can double your FPS in Ark Survival Ascendant, no matter how good your PC is, and get better at PvP at the same time. If you want your Ark to look as bad as mine, use the following comments. You don't leave your base at night, because it's far too dangerous. When you enter caves, you can see your hand in front of your eyes. Everyone else farms at night, but you have to sit in your brace and wait until sun rises. With Gamma 3, you can increase the brightness of the game, so that it is also bright during night time. In very dark places, you can also set your Gamma to 4. If you want to undo the comment, simply set it to Gamma 2. 2 is the default value of the Gamma and therefore resets the setting. This comment has no influence on performance, but can help you to see better in dark places without having a torch with you. All comments mentioned here work on the client side, which means they can be used on official and unofficial servers. As these comments can be used by anyone, they are not considered cheating and therefore do not break any rules. Everyone who has ever played on a PvP server has had the problem of being attacked by a player in his fetch hut during his node run, then chasing and pursuing him but then losing him in the tall grass because the player model was the size of a 10 year old but sprinted through the bushes like flash. With grass size scale 0 and grass density scale 0 this will no longer be a problem for you. With these comments you can simply deactivate the tall grass that cannot be interacted with, which not only shows players who are hiding from you, but also improves the performance of your game enormously. If you want the bushes back, simply use the same comment again and replace the 0 with a 1. The best known comment is our volumetric cloud 0, which deactivates the clouds. Even though they contribute a lot to the visual appearance of the game, they need a lot of performance and deactivating them can significantly improve your experience. All the comments used here are essentially just settings that can be made in the game, but the corresponding settings and values cannot be found in the settings dialog. So using these comments is basically just an extension to the settings tab in your game's menu. You probably already know that Art Volumetric Fog Zero deactivates the fog. The influence on the overall game experience is rather small. However, if the weather is foggy, the fog is not displayed, which can be particularly useful in PvP. Overall, the performance improvement is rather small, but noticeable. Shadows make the game look much better. However, shadows have two disadvantages. Firstly, they consume a lot of performance. And secondly, they make it harder to see enemies in the forest or tall grass. The smaller the shadows are, the less they are noticed. You can deactivate small shadows with the command R contact shadows 0. Depending on where you are, this setting can have different effects on performance. Normally, however, the FPS will improve slightly and you can gain a clear advantage in PvP. Lumen is Unreal Engine's 5 dynamic global illumination and reflection system and is the default global illumination and reflection system. This is what you find in your search for Lumen for Unreal Engine 5. The problem is, that dynamic light is incredibly complex to calculate. Even modern graphic cards need a lot of time to calculate dynamic lighting. Without dynamic lighting, light look much worse, but it has a huge impact on the performance of the game and can significantly improve your performance. You can deactivate dynamic illumination with the command R dynamic global illumination method zero. With the command Air Nanit Max Pixels Per Edge 2, you can improve your game's performance by reducing the details of the edges of distant objects. The improvement in performance is in the medium range and should be clearly noticeable. Deactivating the Shadow Cascade deactivates a special type of shadows with the command R Shadow CSM Max Cascade 0. You can deactivate dynamic shadows which make it easier to recognize opponents and significantly improve your performance. All remaining shadows are removed with the command R Shadow Quality 0. Deactivating the shadows significantly increases performance and helps to maintain a clearer view of the opponents. The last command R Water Single Layer Reflection 0 removes the upper part of the water that handles reflections. If you want Arc to look good, and these comments are not for you. With a little customization, however, they could also be used to make Arc look very well. These comments are particularly useful for you if you want to get the last FPS out of your device and want to further increase your chances in PvP. And the best thing is, you don't have to enter all these comments in your console one after the other. There's a so-called pipe. With the character down slash, you can string several comments together 
and then execute them all at once. This means that when you start the game and join your server, you simply copy your comment from a text file or similar and paste it into your console. And all your comments are executed at once. 